A central bank digital currency is a form of digital money issued and regulated by a central bank. It would be a liability of or a claim on the central bank. A general purpose CBDC would be like a digital version of cash that is universally accessible. It could be stored and transferred between digital wallets on phones or potentially purpose-built devices like smart cards. In addition to general purpose CBDCs, there could also be wholesale CBDC accessible only to a more limited range of participants, similar to the way settlement accounts at central banks operate now. Like cash, the CBDC would be convertible at par, i.e. one for one with other forms of money, and in all likelihood, it would also be specified to serve as legal tender. While CBDCs would be issued by the central bank, it is generally expected that customer-facing activities involved in distributing them to users will be undertaken by private sector entities. It is expected that implementations of CBDCs could use DLT, though this need not be the case and they might rely instead on more traditional databases. This will apparently be the case for the planned Chinese CBDC. The key differences between cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin and Ethereum and CBDCs are Denomination and backing While cryptocurrencies have no direct link to other currencies nor are backed by any assets, CBDCs would be denominated in flat or sovereign currencies fully convertible at par into other forms of money. Governance and technology Unlike cryptocurrencies, CBDCs would have centralized, permissioned governance arrangements, relying on a small number of trusted entities to verify transactions. Let's take a look at some of the CBDC initiatives and use cases across the globe and the GCC region. Bank of International Settlements, BIS Innovation Hubs. The Banking of International Settlements BIS, is conducting trials of several CBDC use cases through its innovation hubs, participating central banks and partners. These include a group of seven central banks, Bank of Canada, Bank of England, Bank of Japan, European Central Bank, Federal Reserve, Savages Riksbank and Swiss National Bank, together with the Bank for International Settlements working together to explore central bank digital currencies, CBDCs, for the public, general purpose or retail CBDC. Project Helvetia, trialing or issuing a new wholesale central bank digital currency, CBDC, and building a link between securities settlement platform and a central bank payment system. Project Jura, is investigating the potential benefits and challenges of WCBDC in settling cross-border payments and digital financial instruments. Project MCBDC Bridge, cross-border transactions with CBDC, the multiple CBDC, MCBDC Bridge, is a wholesale central bank digital currency, CBDC, co-creation product that explores the capabilities of distributed ledger technology, DLT, and studies the application of CBDC in enhancing financial infrastructure to support multi-currency cross-border payments. Project Aurum studies the benefits and challenges of tiered architectures for the distribution of retail CBDC through commercial banks and payment service providers. This project will investigate two architectural models, hybrid CBDC and private CBDC-backed e-money. Project Dunbar aims to develop prototype shared platforms for cross-border transactions using CBDCs of many different jurisdictions. Such platforms could allow financial institutions to transact directly with each other in CBDCs, eliminating the need for intermediaries and potentially improving the speed, cost and transparency of wholesale cross-border transactions. Project ABBA in 2020, the Saudi Central Bank, Central Bank of the UAE and six participating banks collaborated on Project ABBA, a joint digital currency and distributed ledger project. The initiative sought to explore whether DLT could enable cross-border payments between the two countries using a dual-issued digital currency as a unit of settlement between commercial banks in the two countries and domestically. The aim was to see if a CBDC could address the inefficiency of the current correspondent banking-based systems, which results in delays 
and requires commercial banks to maintain substantial Nostro accounts with their correspondent banks. The project addressed three high-level use cases and was executed in three phases. The three use cases were as follows. One, payment between central banks. This involved creating a shared ledger between the two central banks on which various digital currency transactions could take place. Two, domestic payments between commercial banks, imitating a domestic real-time gross settlement, RTGS system. Three, cross-border payments between commercial banks, imitating a cross-border RTGS system. China is in the advanced stages of piloting an ERMB or digital yuan for a household use and it seems increasingly likely that it will move to full issuance. China's digital currency electronic payment, DCEP, a digital payment and processing network run by the China Central Bank and its digital currency, the digital yuan, ECMY, is expected to completely replace physical cash. Unveiled in 2019, the DCEP began its trial in April 2020 and has been slowly rolled out in major cities including Shanghai, Chengdu and Beijing. Distribution starts with the Central Bank, People's Bank of China, PBOC, distributing the digital yuan to commercial banks. The commercial banks will then distribute it to consumers. This could be through services to allow consumers to exchange their coins and cash for digital yuan. While details on how users will hold and spend digital yuan when it's available, it is possible that it could be used in similar ways as QR codes in existing Alipay and WeChat digital wallets. The PBOC would require those operating digital yuan wallets to disclose transactions to use PBOC as the sole third party. While this would enable PBOC to crack down on money laundering and criminal offences, Critics have warned that it could lead to increased surveillance of citizens by the government.